Hi there, I'm going to show you how to do your birthday circuit or an example of a birthday circuit using multi-sim but then making it easier on yourself and using a PLD design. So the first thing you need to do is go to file new, PLD design, click that. All right, we, uh, in my class, we have the CMOD S6 chips. And uh, you gotta call it um, a design name. So I'm gonna call this hit next. All right, so this is kind of new. This is where you select um, all of the pin ins or pin outs that you need. So on your chip, you have some buttons. We don't need those. Uh, we have some lights, which are just cool to use, but we don't really need them. Um, and for the birthday, we need three switches. So I'm going to use actually pins 26, 27, and 28. 26, there's 26, 27, and why did I do that? And 28. All right. Um, those are going to be my pin ins. So I'm going to hit finish, and you can see they show up over there. My pin outs are going to be pins one through seven because we use a seven segment display. And so my outputs here, I'm going to bring in one, okay, and then just do this for each of them. So this is output. I need to bring in those. So I'm just going to move uh, pin 26 there, 27 and 28. So I have my X, my Y, and my Z, um, or my switch 0, switch 1, switch 2, however you want to call them. All right, so I'm going to run a, um, a wire all the way down. Now we need to reference our truth table and our K-maps. So according to my um, truth table, my A, my D, and my E are all the same. I put little dots on there so I can remember. Uh, my, and then everything else is different. Uh, maybe you're luckier than, than me and have a bunch of segments that are the same. So I'm going to do this. Uh, you can draw it up, but the easiest way is to use the logic converter. Logic converter is found right here, and I'm going to put this on my top right of my page. I'm going to double click it, and I need three switches, A, B, and C. And now I need to copy my truth table, so I'm going to reference my truth table, and it goes something like this. So as you might be able to hear, I'm just clicking once on the question mark to get zero, clicking twice to get one. All right, so we've got the truth table. We can go to AB. Um, of course, simplifying it always makes it better. Another, uh, you know, you simplify it, you can go AOI here or you can go NAND here. I'm going to do the NAND for the first example. And I'm going to make a note on here. So I'm going to go place and then text. Right above that, I'm going to just write A, D, and E segments. Go ahead and do segment B now. Now I'm going to uh, line up my segments with my uh, pinouts. So this I want with A, this number two I want with B, four is D, and, and since you know A, D, and E are all the same, that goes there. All right, so I'll Play a little connect the dots. Now we want to connect our A, B, and C to our A, B, and C. 
So we can hit Control J, and what Control J is is a junction. So we can put a junction here. Go to A. Control J on B. And Control J on C. Oops, just disconnected those. I'll go up and around. All right. Do the same thing on all of uh, the rest of the segments. So A goes A, which is far left, B to the middle, and then C on the right line. All right, before we do uh, anything else, I would like to bring in some, oh, before we do anything else, I'd encourage you to save it. So file, save as, and if you're in my class, you better be saving to your Google Drive. Next thing I do is bring in seven probes. You can pick whatever color you'd like. Blue is my favorite color. So I'm going to use blue in the shape of a seven segment display so that I can connect them to the right spots. All right, and now to test them, you want to grab an indicator, place the digital source, and here you go, an indicator. We want to grab this one, an interactive, and we want three of them. And so I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to make this key toggle Z. And I'm going to make this one, I'm going to double click on that, make it X. And then I'm going to double click on this one and make this C. I know a lot of students like doing uh, one, two, four, that's fine too. So I'm going to connect this to here. All right, let's test it before we do anything else. Hit play, everything's on. So I've got um, zero is the first one, and then when I hit C, I got power one. So I've got two, dash. So my birthday is February, and then it was dash, and then now it's 20, one, dash, 82 and then I will uh, delete these I know it works now this is the case if you have a common cathode for my class we have common anodes so what we need to do before we import it is we need to put inverters at the end of each so I'm gonna put an inverter here here now that we have it all plugged in, we have this ready to go. We've tested it. We go to transfer, export to PLD. We make sure that it's right here. Save it, hit next. Um, I'm going to browse and put this in my Google Drive. Uh, we wanna make sure this is all right. That looks good. Looks good, yes. Let's click on these three buttons and we want a CMOD S6 hit open and finish and now it will load steps 1 through 11 takes about five minutes or so all right we got it all plugged in uh, I've got it running and so these wires are connected to the uh, pin ins we've got these wires connected to the pin outs and then the R um, pack and then we have the R pack connected to the seven segment display zero two dash 21 82. there we go uh, this is powering everything that's good great job